Today's how to build is on Mega Man and Proto Man. Don't forget to check out all my other video game how to build videos. These are the pieces you'll need to build Mega Man. First thing you want is a medium blue torso. Um, so this one was like a fisherman torso that I just turned around backwards, so it's solid blue up here. Um, and then we want some of these antenna pieces. Uh, the ones I had are blue, so we're going to use this technique for the X bottom torsos that I talk about in uh, the video about how to build Robophilia. Go watch that video if you want. Uh, but yeah, so you basically stick the antenna down the armhole and then it clicks into the X at the bottom. So that'll be the two for the shoulders. And then uh, for the ones for the legs, I'm going to stick it in so that it, until it clicks. Do that on both sides. Then once it's clicked in, I'm going to take these uh, blue pieces off the bottom of the antenna here. Wiggle them off. Um, and then we're going to take uh, one of these 1 by 2 grate pieces and fit the bottoms of the black pieces through that. go and then you'll want to pull them out then you can reattach the blue pieces so this is a good way to um, get a nice blue waist there and start of some blue legs so this is the hardest part of the build right here these antenna pieces are tricky to deal with and once you've got them reattached you can also spin them around in the other direction depending on when you want the legs to go forward or to the side. So, there you go. Ideally, these would be medium blue, but short of painting them, that they don't come in that color in Lego. Um, and now for the legs, because they don't have medium blue one by one rounds, I'm using these medium transparent blue one by one rounds, stacking two on top and putting them on a one by one downward slope in blue. Um, alternatively, if you don't have enough of those, you can use these one by one cylinders in medium azure, which comes in the Cloud Cuckoo Land set. So let's stick the legs on. And again, uh, you can now twist them around so they can kick side to side or kick front to back. Now for his normal arm, I'm using a one by one transparent medium blue cylinder a Technic half pin in blue, stick that in there, and then a uh, one by one plate with a clip on the end in blue. That's one arm. And then for his Mega Buster arm, taking a blue head here, uh, I have one that's pure blue, but you could also use one that has a face on it and turn it around. Two medium transparent blue one by one rounds on that side, and one more on the other side. Now there seems to be con some contention as to which side his Mega Buster is on. Uh, some pictures it's left, some pictures it's right, so uh, I'm just putting it left here, but you can always flip it around. Now there's a lot of different ways you can go for Mega Man's head. The only real noticeable feature about Mega Man's head is that he's got two big eyes and then a sort of flat smile. Um, also when he's jumping, he sort of has a circular black mouth. I really like the combination of this uh, new style smiley face with the uh, singing face from one of the winter sets. That circle mouth is perfect for when he's doing his jump, and I think this is a good um, sort of normal face to go with that. Um, this reversible head here also has a nice uh, regular sort of smile with an open sort of yelling face. Exoforce head, uh, this is the most normal of them. Doesn't look quite right, but uh, it does have the bigger eyes. You could mix and match some of the collectible figure heads. This one was, uh, I thought, was a pretty good approximation of Mega Man's flat smile, and that one was a decent open mouth face. Another thing you could do is do Mega Man with uh, glasses on his face. That sort of gives it, makes it seem like he has big uh, eyes, like he does in the game. But then obviously he's wearing glasses. Um, obviously you can do a flesh-colored head if you like that better. Uh, I'm going to put this uh, set of heads on, though. For Mega Man's helmet, the best look is this aviator hat, uh, which comes in blue. 
Um, if you want to make it perfect, uh, you'd paint medium blue down the center stripe there. Uh, it's kind of rare, but I'll put a link in the description. Uh, this is from the Power Miner sets from a few years ago, so that's probably more likely that you would have. It's a pretty good approximation. You could also shave off those pointy bits on the end if you don't like them. Uh, this is from the Collectible Minifigure series. This dark blue one came in the Hockey Player, I believe. And I'm pretty sure that it comes in regular blue in the uh, football player, which I do not have. Um, also, classic style helmet here can work if you don't have anything else in blue. And this new style Azure helmet from the uh, Alien Conquest series could work as well if you don't have any of the others. But I'm going to go with this one. And now we've got our Mega Man. One of the nice things about doing Mega Man with these arms is that he can make many of the poses that his 8-bit self would make. So this is sort of his classic standing and shooting pose. This would be his jump pose. Of course, remember to change the face to one of the open shouty faces. You can also switch out his Mega Buster arm for another normal arm. For one of his standing still poses. With a little bit of contortion, you can also get him in one of his running poses. So, a couple substitutions here, in case you don't have these pieces. If you don't have a blue head, uh, next best piece is probably a blue one by one cone. Doesn't have the same uh, bulbousness of the Mega Buster, but it's the best approximation you're going to get. If you want to go for a more uh, standard minifig style Mega Man, um, best bet again is to use medium blue for the torso here. Nice thing is here you can have the arms be uh, all medium blue as they should be. Just do a blue hand on the end. For the Mega Buster you're going to take the hand off. Take a one by one um, cylinder in blue. Fill it with some uh, putty and then you can stick it on. Uh, there's no way to really make a good Lego connection there that'll stay on. Uh, that's got the Mega Buster. Uh, for the pants, uh, the only ones I could find in media blue are the ones that are, have sort of torn jean look on them. Uh, if you don't have medium blue, your next bet is to go into the azure color. I think this is dark azure from the ADU set. Um, obviously, it's going to be hard to get one that doesn't have printing on it because the ADU people print it on both sides. But that's going to be the best approximation you're going to find of uh, those colors uh, if you don't got it. And then again, for this, you can use uh, any of the heads that we used for the other Mega Man. Enough talk about Mega Man, let's do Proto Man. These are the pieces you'll need for Proto Man. It's going to be the same as Mega Man, except in different colors. So start with a light gray torso, and some antennas that have light gray uh, bobbles on the end. Stick two through like that. Let's go ahead and take the bottom off here, and then just stick that part in. And twist these, get a red grill plate, so that's what color his waist is. Stick them through and reattach the bobbles on the end. Just decided these things are called bobbles. Bobbles. Again, once you've put it in a little bit, an easy way to get it secure is to twist it that way and then push it all the way on, like I just did. All right, so that's the uh, base there. Legs, two red one by two downward slopes, four one by one round plates in light gray. Stack two of the plates on top of the slope and connect that onto the bottom of the little uh, antenna bobble. That one, just... Sometimes this connection can get kind of tight. Ha! For his Mega Buster, we're going to use a red head. The only head I had in red was this demon head, so we're just going to turn it around. Two round plates on top of it, and like gray, and one on the bottom. And just don't look at the demon face. Uh, and then for the arm, one by one round cylinder, light gray. Technic half pin, and a one by one plate with clip on top. So 
So the most notable feature on Proto Man's face is his big sunglasses. The best head I could find was this one from the old style Star Wars Scout Trooper. But, uh, you know, there's other varieties of sunglasses that you could try if you don't got that one. This one looks pretty cool. They're all pretty good approximations. But before you put on his head, Proto Man needs a big flowing yellow scarf. Um, this is not a scarf, this is a cape, but this was the best approximation I could find of a flowy neck thing in yellow. I think this is from, like, Robin from Batman. Stick the head on there. Uh, you don't have that. This yellow epaulette from Pirates might be your best bet. For the helmet, this old style red helmet with the stars on the top was the best approximation I could find. Uh, if you don't have that, just any old red helmet can do. Uh, now, Proto Man won't be Proto Man without his shield. The best approximation of Proto Man's shield that I could find for his size is this pink surfboard. It's about the right shape. It's got uh, mostly white with sort of a red-ish outline. It's pink, but close enough. Um, nice thing is it can fit into his hand very well just by fitting it in there, and he can put it up to block Mega Man's bolts. Uh, another option is like a full-blown big surfboard, which is a little too big. But again, he can grab it from the back with his hand, so that's nice. Um, you could also try using a shield, but that's going to be too small. This Kahuna shield was the only mix of red and white that I had. Um, the Fright Knight shield is kind of the right mix, but again, way too small. Um, there's this new collectible minifigure set, shield, a little bigger, but still not really the right size. So I think surfboard's the best. You could also try to build something out of bricks, but uh, I, I just like the surfboard. It's just pretty good shield. Pew, pew, pew. Block, block, block. Pew, pew, pew. Block, block, block. Pew, pew, pew. Thank <laughs>